We started our study of robot tools, and we will do so by developing an example that we are seeing in previous classes. To begin, you must download the plans that are in the class, and that shows the example that we are going to be developing. For that, we locate ourselves in Level 2 Plant, which is the one we are going to carry out in the first place. Returning to the robot, we are going to create new building type project, which is the one that best fits the characteristics of this example. In the first place, let's start with the construction lines that we find here on the right at the top from our model toolbar. In this construction line, we are going to add several in X and several in Y. We will start with X. If we go back to the model, we will see that these that are in the X direction go from A to G and have different separations. Then with this file open on the computer, we must first add a zero position and repeat the following one at a distance of 4.3. Notice that by what we have just done, we will place in position zero, here we will create, and then repeat the following one at a distance of 4.3 that generates the first at zero and the next at 4.3. Now from 4.3, the next one that repeats is at 5.2, and we can already see how it's going to be created. In the example, the first is at 4.3, the second 5.2, and now last for the next distance. That would be of 2.7, then 6, then 5.5, and then 5.5. The numbering for those that are X is from A to H or to G. In this case, it is G. We will change so that instead of numbering by numbers, use letters. It goes up to the G's, and now we repeat the same process. For the case of the Y construction lines, going back to our example, we are going to turn it around. We'll see that there are 14 construction lines, each with its distance. Next, we will create this line of construction with the first position, repeated one time at a distance of 4.3, and then 5.2 with 2.7, then 6, 5.5, 5.5, 5, 2, 5, 5.5, 5, 5.25, 5.35, 5, and 5. This way we have our 14 construction lines numbered by Y numbers and by letters in X. The Z axis for now, we are not going to use it because in the next class we will see how to add plants that is better for this type of construction than the C levels. At this moment, we're just going to concentrate on X and Y. We click on apply and close it. So we'll see that it has already created all the grid that are our helpers for the next steps within our model of geometry. See you in the next class where we'll see how to create the structure plants.